Stealing well, my during this campaign, we've heard a lot from you, I suppose, on pylons and on economic issues, but mostly, Ronan, you're known for your conservative stance on social issues. Is that why you want to go to Europe? Well, can I first of all say, Miriam, that that's a typical Dublin media stunt to pull, to try and pigeonhole one candidate. People, if you were reading the Connacht Tribune this week, you'd have seen me talking about uh, the way we are sending patients, Irish patients abroad for mental health services uh, after closing down very good mental health facilities in my own uh, part of the country in Ballinas. Slow. I'm the most distinctive candidate in this race because I do come from a farming background in Galway. I see the benefits of the EU for Ireland and I want to be a watchdog to make sure that our government is getting the best possible deal. I think we have missed opportunities. But I have never been afraid to challenge the EU where it interferes too much in our laws. Okay. And I've never been afraid to challenge the consensus. And I'm going to do it here again tonight, Miriam, because I have to take exception to the way RTE has staged this debate. You have deprived all of us here of an opportunity to challenge here, the government on its record well to challenge sitting MEPs on its record. We are probably speaking at a point where people have turned off, so boring was the consensus in the first part of this debate. I really do feel that RTE failed in its public service remit, and I hope it's nothing to do with RTE having too cosy a relationship with the political they're parties they're in they're the mocked. context That's of the proposed on, broadcasting on, charge. I really am concerned about that. It's not a European mm -hmm. issue, but RTE has a duty to play fair. You should have drawn lots for who appears in each panel this Excellent. evening, and that's not a against you personally, it's against the people who talk to the party leaders and the various spin doctors. Independents don't have that. But people in this election, make no mistake about it, are going to go out and vote independent. And I'm calling on them tonight to vote one, two, three and four down the line. I hope they'll give me their number one because I think I'm the most distinctive independent. But I, the only way okay. they can re register their protest against the way the political system has mm -hmm. lied to okay, people, north and south of the border, okay. all four major parties, is Fair to enough. vote for independence. That's the way to get independent wrong, 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 thinking in Europe. The question though, I suppose, being a so, conservative on social so issues, and that's your point of view, and there's absolutely nothing that's wrong with word, that. That's by the way. Yep. Well, but when you go to Europe, as you know, Europe, there is a feeling, has led a lot of the change on social issues in Ireland. So is that your main purpose? Do you want to go to Europe and try and get that road back a bit? No, with respect, Miriam, I still think you're listening to the voices in your head. Of course I'm pro-life. I'm proud to be pro-life. I've always stood for human dignity at all stages of life, whether mm -hmm. it's the entitlement of people to top quality hospice care so that people who currently die in hospitals should be allowed to die where they want to die, at home with their loved ones, with proper facilities, something that doesn't happen in our country at the moment. I've been vocal in all of those things, regardless of whether RTE is interested or not. But at the European level, certainly, I will be vigilant to ensure that the European bureaucracy doesn't interfere with the right of Irish people to determine their own values and culture and laws and social okay, issues. Me... But just as passionately, I will defend the right of Irish farmers to get a fair deal. I will look to see that okay. we're getting funding to try and redress the scandal of closed shops in our towns. All over this Midland wet Northwest constituency, you have people living in desperation. People afraid to open their post okay, for fear of being another demand for a debt to be, to be paid.